YouTube, it's your girl Shania, and I'm back with another video. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you look at previous videos. And don't forget to like, comment, and share with your friends. So, um, well, I have on my army jacket today because today I'll be doing another military video. Mm, 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 mm. I'm y'all. I'm feeling this light though. Like, I think I'm gonna change my YouTube section to a black background because it just make my the the ring light make my skin pop. So, anyways, so let's just get to the video. So today I'll be talking about. I'll be doing a fully explained video of what happens at reception. So for those who don't know what reception is, reception is the place that you go to before you go to basic training. So reception, it's like, it's really boring. Like it's like, it's a lot of waiting, a lot of paperwork. A lot of shots a lot of yelling a lot of you get less sleep like it's it's overrated to be honest so basically i'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about where i went the reception at so you know i was i went the basic training at fort jackson and reception was at fort jackson too my reception was 120th um now that i look back i really miss 120th because like the food at 120th was lit compared to like, like it was the best, like compared to basic training food. And y'all, y'all understand when y'all go to basic training or if you already been to basic training, you already like, you already understand. So basically I went to 120th and if you're active duty, you leave the day before to head to the hotel and then i think you have to go to meps in the morning wait i confuse i don't forget i'm not active duty so i don't really understand how the active duty process went versus reserves we don't spend the night at the hotel we just go straight to reception anyway so when you get the reception you know they gonna be mean because that's like the first day that you're like actually like both soldiers so they're gonna be like mean but once you do the shakedown then you just be waiting and waiting until more of your more of your battles come because keep in mind you have people coming to fort jack well anywhere any basic training um training area but I'm just gonna use Fort Jackson as an example. So you know Fort Jackson is in Columbia, South Carolina. So you have so many people coming to Fort Jackson from all over the world. Like people was coming from Hawaii. So we had to wait till about everybody. We had to wait till everybody get there to basically continue with the process. So once everybody arrived, and I mean, they put us at, they, matter of fact, they made us go to the chapel and we had to wait hours and hours of just sitting and waiting for people to come like more and more people will come eventually but we had to just wait and then they tell us that we can't go to sleep um they gave us the um what's that book called dang i forget the book i don't know i don't forget the book but it's a book and it has everything in it it has the army values the soldier's creed the blue book that's what it's called it's called the blue book they made us study the blue book like that whole time. So, yeah, you're going to be bored. You're going to be tired of just sitting around and waiting. And then if they catch you sleeping, they're going to make you do push-ups and stuff. So, just try to stay awake. But if you do, 
you know, if you do a little catch a little snooze, just have one of your battles to look out for you, you know? Reception is week zero of your training. Uh, basic training is a total of 10 weeks, so reception is week zero, basically. So basically, on the first day, you do like the general orientation stuff where you do the shakedown, um... Yeah, they do the shakedown where they make you dump everything out your bags and make sure you don't have no contraband, which is like food, snacks, gum. Um, make sure you don't have no razors or like nail clippers with the little the little thing in the middle, the little fowler thing. They make sure you don't have no cigarettes, no tobacco, no alcohol in your bags, all of that stuff. And then basically you just sit down for hours waiting on your battles because keep in mind that your battles are coming everywhere from from basically from everywhere like we have people coming from hawaii um california and you know fort jackson is in south carolina so that's a pretty far away trip so basically yes so first day you just um do general orientation you meet your drill sergeants um Mines was Jill Sarger Chandler. He is funny. That man is hilarious. I did have this one drill sergeant. I don't remember his name, but he, I don't know. Hmm. And then we had this female drill sergeant. She was actually nice to us, but Jill Sarger Chandler, he's really funny. So if you go to um, 120th at Fort Jackson and you know Jill Sarger Chandler, That's what's up. That's what's up. Dang, I just kind of. But, um, yeah, so you meet your drill sergeants. They break you up into different companies. Um, like I said before, make sure you pay attention to who's in your company at reception because they're most likely going to be in the same company that you are in for basic training. So, um, yeah, so you do all the general orientation stuff. I think we didn't go to bed till like 11 o'clock like because people was coming in and out the dang on barracks because they was either they either just arrived at reception late at night or just wasn't finished with their pro like paperwork and stuff so people would come in and out the barracks like all through the night and then we had to wake up at like three o'clock in the morning zero three hundred Y'all, when I say you don't get no sleep at reception, so don't even look for sleep because you're not going to get no sleep. So the reception, the reception length is usually like, I think I was at reception for like five days. No, four days. I think it could, I think reception is between the like, between four to seven days. It just depends. But um, yes, so that's the first day. So the second day um the second day is that's when you, you receive your uniforms and you receive your id and um well you don't receive your id you just take your pictures for id so basically the second day we woke up we got breakfast um the 120th breakfast is good so take advantage of their breakfast because i mean you're probably not gonna have a lot of time to eat because all they do is yell at you so you're only gonna have like three minutes to eat so make sure y'all learn how to eat fast um what else oh yeah y'all gonna be looking a hot mess second day they give us our uniforms but like we will still walk around with dang on pts on these kai ass green socks with boots on like that's all like you ain't about to look cute you about to have your little pt clothes on matter of fact i think i got a video i'm gonna show i'm gonna insert the video of how I had looked during reception. But you know, you got the PT, you got the PT clothes on, and then you um you got the high green socks on with the boots walking around with the dang old laundry bag in your hand. So yeah, once you get your uniform, you're gonna have a laundry bag full of clothes and they make you take that dang old laundry bag everywhere you go. When you march, they make sure you have it in the chow, um, the chow hall, they make they just make sure you have it. You about to be marching with that everywhere. So yeah, bruh. 
Don't let me tell y'all. So they didn't even warn us that we had ID pictures taken. When I said they had us taking freaking ID pictures towards the end of the day, they ain't even let us go back to the barracks, you know, have a little hair nice. Like when I said I had looked so beat up in my freaking ID picture, y'all. I had show I had shown my ID picture in one of the, one of my videos, but I looked so beat up. Like I first of all I was black as hell. My face was chubby. I, I was just going through it. So you're not gonna look cute on your ID picture because they catch you off guard when you about to go get your picture taken. Because you don't actually get your ID until like a few like towards the end of basic training, that's when you're gonna get your ID picture or your ID card. So, um, yeah, so after you know, after you get the ID cards, that's when they let us go to the PX. It may be different because we went day two, we went to the PX day two, but you might go day three or day four, it don't matter. It just depends on the drill sergeant, but we went day two. Um, we were so you are required to get like fifty dollars worth of stuff that they require you to get. So even if you have your own toothpaste or like toothbrush or like wipes, they still require you to get those. So you just gonna have extra for basic training. But um, you can buy stamps at the PX. You can buy notebooks at the PX. You can buy well they well the reception px wasn't really that big so it wasn't really a lot of options but yeah no i lie i lie at reception px you can't buy stamps because i remember the drill sergeant was like we gotta wait till you get the basic training to go to their px because they px they px sell stamps so i would just bring stamps with me when i first like when i first go because they're not going to take that away from me. So, we go to the PX. The, all the males get their haircuts. So, you know, you're about to be bald-headed. So, looking like somebody granddaddy. But, um, yes. Yeah, so, get the haircuts. That's pretty much all you do day two. And then, you know, go to dinner. Go to lunch. Nighttime come. Lights out. Wake up early again, 3.30, 3.30, o'clock. So day three, um, day three is like another like mini MEPS. Like you have to, that's where all the medical stuff come in. Like we had to do a dental, we had a dental exam, we had eye exam. Everybody wears the same glasses in the middle of well, in basic training. So, matter of fact, I think I got the glasses. Let me show y'all. You get these glasses. At first, let me, let me, matter of fact, let me try these things on because I ain't had these on in a while. <laughs> I mean, I can see real good. But yeah, they, everybody get these glasses. But, um, they make sure when you do... Your eye exam, like if you wear glasses, they make sure you take your eye exam without the glasses on because they want you to have 40-40 vision. So, you know, when you go shooting and stuff at the gun range, not the gun range. Well, it is the gun range. Well, mm, not the gun range, weapon. You're not supposed to call your weapon a gun. If you do that in basic training, your drill sergeant is going to smoke the hell out of you. So don't call your weapon a gun. Your weapon is a weapon not a gun but back to what i was saying um so yeah so you get those classes so day three you just do like all the medical stuff so you do your dental make sure you don't have no cavities or make sure you don't have to get your wisdom teeth taken out because we have people that got their wisdom teeth taken out in basic training um and i pretty much it and then like during our free time we had bay maintenance where we had to go in the bay and clean up. So that's what that's really what we did when we wasn't doing like the medical stuff. Then we went to chow, you know, went to lunch, dinner. Day four. I believe day four was when we got 
all those shots like i had to get like seven to eight shots like you literally you literally stand in a line and then you go in the dang going room and it's like literally one shot walk up one shot turn one shot walk up one shot turn one shot i'm like damn all these damn shots y'all my my arm was so numb after that but um yeah day four it's just shots because that's pretty much you pretty much done did everything so you basically just get your shots um that's pretty much it and then day five that was like the last day. They made us wake up at like 2.30. And we had to clean out the recept. We had to clean our um bays because that's the day where we finally went to finally went to basic training. Um Yeah, that's the day we finally went to basic training. And that morning they made us clean the bays, made made us clean the bathrooms, clean out the laundry room, clean our beds, pack everything. We had to put our bags in certain, I think, I think our bags was alphabetical order. I'm not sure. I think it was alphabetical order, but that's pretty much it. You clean and then around like the afternoon time, your drill sergeants from basic training will come get you from reception. They make you walk in this straight line to the bus and then you have to have your damn, um, you have your damn buffle, duffel bag in your hand. And you walk into the bus. And it's so funny because the drill sergeants, they be they already be knowing who to pick on and who not to just by like how you follow directions. So make sure you follow directions. And then we walk on the bus, got on the bus, about to leave reception. They told us to put our heads in our lap like this. So we don't know where we're going. And they said if somebody peek, we was gonna get smoke as soon as we got off the I mean, we would, I mean, you're going to get smoke as soon as you get off the bus to go to base train anyway, but the shark attack. But that's, I'll be talking about that in my next video. But that's pretty much it. Reception is just long, boring hours of just waiting and waiting and waiting. But I mean, it's doable. You only got to deal with it for a few. I'll go back to basic training, but not reception. But 120th food was good, so make sure. Cause it's gonna be a point where you go back to 120th. Matter of fact, it's week five. You go back to 120th, um, week five, and that's during white phase of basic training to go get your measure to go me get measured for your um graduation um uniform. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do a red face video, a blue face video, and a white face video. Stay tuned. But thank you for watching my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video next week. Mm -hmm.